Okay, so when you first fire MATLAB up, uh, it should look something like this. Um, so up at the top here, um, this little window tells us that the current folder. Um, you probably want to make uh, a dedicated folder for the course. Um, as you can see, I've done here. Um, so I've got EMATH171 as the folder. Over on the left-hand side here, uh, we've got a list of the, the files that are in, in that folder. Um, here, this is probably most, the most important window. This is the command window where we can enter commands directly into MATLAB. So we can use MATLAB to do basic calculations. Um, so, for example, 53 times 7 is 371. We can also um, store numbers in variables. So, for example, if I type in x equals 8, what that does is simply stores the number 8 uh, in a variable called x. Um, and over on the right here, uh, you can see um, this window called the workspace window, which uh, shows us all the variables that we've currently got in memory and the values that are stored in them. So here you can see the number 8 is currently stored in the variable called x. Uh, MATLAB has all of the sort of standard maths functions that you're, you're likely to want to use. So, for example, um, we can calculate the square root of x and store it in a variable called y. Um, and again, we can see that popping up in the workspace window here. We can do squared like this, so x squared plus e to the y. So this command will calculate x squared plus e to the y and store it in a variable called z. Uh, the important thing to remember is that MATLAB only stores numbers. It doesn't store equations. So, um, for example, if I put a new value into y, so for example, let's say y equals 4, then you can see up here in the workspace uh, window, MATLAB's overwritten the previous value of y. So the, the previous value of y has disappeared altogether. It's no longer stored in memory and we've got the new value of 4, but you'll notice that the value of z hasn't changed because we haven't told MATLAB to change it. So if we wanted to, to update the value of z according to the same equation, this one here, then we'd have to issue that command again. So if I go up and uh, give this same command again, z equals x squared plus e to the y, then that uses the new value of y to, to calculate a new value of z, and again overwrites previous value uh, for Z, as you can see uh, up here. 